Right. Hello, Lee. My name is Julian, Hen Julian Henley. Um, I'm a big fan of yours. And I've been for buying your products for probably 10 years. Back from the FPS creator onto the uh, X10 version. Now again, you know, uh, I did um, an email recently regarding uh, an issue that I'll be having with the um, radar uh, script, which seems to be probably causing a problem. Um, so uh, you did ask me to be more explicit with it. Um, so this is my attempt at doing so. Um, a bit silly because I got the uh, got my microphone hooked over my glasses. I expect, of course, um, an attempt to give you the best possible audio. Uh, probably won't get any, any audio from the software because for some reason my soft, my um, recording software does not do both um, both the uh, computer's audio and my, my uh, voice audio. So uh, I might be able to pick it up if I turn up the volume on the computer. But yeah, okay. Obviously, I don't know your Shakespearean speaking voice. Well, I was a member of uh, Cambly Speakers. Speaking, probably speaking club for a while. So, anyway, here we go. I think it's, I think it's new going. <coughs> also got a bit of a cough, right? Okay. Uh, uh, right, this is. Um, now, what we're trying to do is. Anyway. I'll try it out. I'm really, really bad at aiming. Oh, the guy. Oh, I got him. Now, oh, this is it. <coughs> Moment of truth here. Yeah. I pick up the weapon. And I'm not doing anything. This is changing outside. I don't know why. And I can't seem to do anything about it. And if I try to press any of the numbers, they don't do anything at all. So, I don't, I don't know why. <coughs> so, I'm going to go back into the editor now. Uh, I've got a uh, cerebral palsy. So, my speech is not that great. Anyway, uh, I think I attached the script to this dynamic barrel roll. So look at it. <coughs> right, so this is the radar, the uh, standard radar script. I've not, not edited it at all. It's exactly as it was. Um, not always active now. Not always active. Right? Okay. So, hmm. Hmm, not sure. I thought that I, I thought that it was different when I put it as. Always active, so I'll try that again. <coughs> I'll put it to always active, right? If I can get my fingers right. right. Um. Yep, okay. okay. Yep, uh, I can't always get my damn fingers to do what I want them to. Makes it quite difficult making games because I don't know how hard to make them. So I'm quite rubbish at kind of blending down things. <coughs> I've got my fingers to work properly. <coughs> anyway, uh, so I've changed it. Um, get the activity of the power off. See, I don't even know if you need to attach it to another entity or what. I, I'm not sure about the uh, documentation. I can't seem to see anything about the radar system. <coughs> so, uh, so here we go. I'm around to. Come on. My computer's very slow. Hopefully, in. The near future I'll get a gaming computer. It depends on whether I win the lottery or if I um, become a jiggler and use my best assets. Or something like that. Okay. Oh. That means it's really. Yeah. There's any different. As you can see, it's still doing the same thing. I'm not pressing anything at all. I can press all numbers and that doesn't do nothing. Actually, no, it does change, <coughs> but only very briefly. So, I'm sure I did have it going. I did, I did have it at one point. Um, that it would work, but um, if the player got a certain distance away from the barrel, it would not work. Not in size. I can't quite remember how I did that now. I thought it was to do with the... Uh, how I read or not, the barrel was always active. But I could have another clock. Mm, oh, what was it now? Uh, I thought it was because <coughs> uh, <coughs> well, not, it's always active, but um, yeah. 
Well, you know, I turn off the always active bit now. Mm -hmm. Turn off the always active bit and also turn off the physics. Pretty sure it leaves the physics. Or, yeah, possibly. I don't know why this is. Very strange. This is your very good speaking voice uh, because uh, I was a member of Cambridge Speakers, a public speaking club under the, under the umbrella of Toastmasters International for quite some time in order to improve my speaking and also my confidence, but it didn't seem to be have a, a great deal. Maybe it did a little bit other than that. I'm just seeing a uh, life coach next week to try to improve my confidence overall. I've got to suffer from severe social anxiety, um, which is really impeding my brain power, I think. Uh, probably not much more than my disability, but. Um, you know, every little thing up to this. <coughs> so, here we go. I hope you're not too busy because it's, it takes a little while. I hope you're going to improve the performance again. You've done a great job at um, uh, transitioning over from, from, from Dark Basic up to C++. Huge difference there, but I think it's still a little way to go. I do. Right, here we go. Uh. It's always tough. I don't know what that well, I don't think I'm making a difference. No, it's still done. It. It's still done. It. Damn it. Yeah. So, I'm sure I, I'm sure I did have. I'm sure I did have a. Um, I did have it <coughs> working. <coughs> as, as before, except that when the player got too far away from the barrel. It will not then work. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Well, I'm, I think at one point I put the script in, into a trigger point, trigger zone, and um, then maybe that was that was when when the player gets too far away, um, then it doesn't work. I could try that again. I guess. I'll delete this one. I mean, you can't, you can't set this to be active always or non-active always, so I don't know what's So, maybe this was not what I used, but I'm not sure. Oh shit, I can't remember. <coughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if you've ever, ever used, uh, it's got agency, but I certainly have uh, I had a great time the other night. Uh, I, anyway, that's not appropriate. Or, or even relevant. Um, yeah. By the way, I really enjoyed your um, tw tw Twitch this week. The Twitch broadcast about um, the Dynamics music system. I can't help thinking that it was possibly because of my request. Uh, to, to explain that. So, very grateful for that. I think it's going to make all our games a lot more atmospheric. Because as you said previously in the previous broadcast, According to Steven Spielberg, um, sound makes up 50% of the experience. So, and sound is one of the things <coughs> uh, that you really has, has not really improved that much in gaming over the last oh, know, 20 years. I mean, my own, um, my, my first Xbox could do sound, and uh, you know, just just as, I reckon as well as the latest stuff. So, uh, I think it's like that is very important. <coughs> Here we go. Radar's working now. At least at the time of It's just kind of a uh, okay. <coughs> Oh, there's, there's no <coughs> there's no, I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. I already don't know what it is. We don't. It's strange. Mm. Anyway, as you, I'm sure I did have it working. Um, but the problem was, when the player got too far away from, from the thing that was holding the radar script, 
then the radio stopped working. So it seems to be something to do with the elderly um, being always active, but I try, I did change it, you know. <coughs> and then it's carried on doing the same thing. <coughs> so I don't know what it is. Anyway, I hope this has helped you. Uh, it turns out, I, I'm not sure it would do, but I, I tried it anyway. Uh, I don't know what else I can do really. Um, got quite a big level, I don't know what that means. I mean, I, 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 recently it was three times that big, and thanks to your beautiful um, um, last rubber band thing, I split it into three. One, two, three, three, one, three, three. I'm doing three different things. So that's really good, really good, thank you. Anyway, keep up the good work, I'll chop. Very, 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 very um, important to me as a creative person. Okay, so until next time. Goodbye. <coughs>